Good morning guys, welcome to the stream. I'm your host, Sleepy Wolf, and we are back to playing some more Final Fantasy 16. Um, hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. Um, it's kind of getting warm a little bit, so I'm just trying to stay under as much uh, air as possible. Um, but yeah, let us jump right in and let's have some fun. Uh, last week, yesterday's stream, oh my god, I can't believe I said last week. Yesterday's stream, we were, oh wait, hold up, I got the drift. Give me a second. Oh uh, yeah, this is bad right now. It's trying to zoom. Okay, bear with me, guys. Just one second, one second. Let me mute this really quick. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. So uh, yesterday's stream, we were, we got a little further. We're gonna reach another crystal that we're going to take down. We reunited with someone who we have not seen in years that we thought had left. Uh, had, like on a, we're we're gone in the demo, and they're back. And yeah, we're gonna continue on and kind of go into uh, what's it called continue on to the story and see what what happens. I have not see yeah. So this whole area that I said I was gonna do off on the side have not done yet. I didn't be able to chance to touch any of this. So I'll probably again another time check out everything and make sure uh grab any chests that are missing or items that are there too. But let's continue on with the story. Ah, I suppose we owe you our thanks. At least you're not dead. You spared us when you could have just as easily sent us to the mud. Yeah, so, and again, let me let me know if you guys can we'll hear the, the, the game pretty well. Let me know if the audio is too loud or too low, or um, if my voice is too loud or too low. You have to, like, whisper a little what bit is it you require? softly. Um, but otherwise, um, I'll try to speak up louder if I need to. Just let me know. But, yeah, and then today's stream will be another two hours. I'm going to try for two and a half, maybe three. Uh, tops today, but otherwise just two max and then uh, you know get back to being kind of uh, working a little bit Tell us then Sir Wade What is your plan? Nothing fancy You Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians the Black Shields will call for reinforcements who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Let's see, party members. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Okay, interesting, because we've been getting kind of characters kind of coming in and out, like Torgol, Jill, Clive, uh, Torgol, Jill, and Sid. 
So it's kind of weird it's popping up this late now again. But I'm guessing it's due to Wade. My only guess. So he'll probably come in and out again, or maybe just in this area he'll pop up and other places he doesn't. I guess we'll just have to see. But we're gonna head this way. Oh, okay, so then I could kind of, I guess, look around the area then. If you guys are fine with it. Blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. Yeah, he's pulled in. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Okay, so let's see. So we can make our way, like looking thoroughly, kind of everywhere, fighting monsters when we can, kind of thing. But yeah, so like right here. Drifting? No, okay. Okay, we'll look docile if we don't touch them. See, let's check over here. Oh, are you drifting again? Crap. Okay, so I know that's blocked, but I didn't get a chance to check over here. Maybe there isn't any, I'm not too sure. Let us pass. Why won't they let us in? Half the guards at that gate are Rosarian! They've sold their souls for the promise of a warm bed! Not that I can blame them. The Empire's left us nothing. Some chocobos, let's see. Guess not. Okay. Hold on, let me see. Huh. Feels like I'm just drifting to the left again a little bit. Dude, stop. Okay, there's probably something here. This area, let's see. Break down here really quick.
This one. This one. Still drifting a little bit. One sec, guys. Hold up. Okay. Let's continue on. I don't think I talked to any of these people, right? No. The bastard are looking. There they are. On your command, my lord. Okay. I remember there wasn't anything around here, I believe. But we could always check again though. What is it now? I told you! We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! For us area! For us area! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords we swear. The dragoon again. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point that this land is in dire need of cleansing. Go to Get him! Get 
enough to keep him occupied. We need to finish this. You mean finish him? Farewell. Get him. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud! My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. We got another seal. Okay, so we got one for Marta, we got one for Sid, and we got I one shall wear for... It with pride. from Wade. Be nice. sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. 
Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Also, he is gone. Oh, the Lord God Commander. Damn. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him and means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Oh, this is the uncle? Okay. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. Okay, I thought we were going to see him at an inn, not here. But very interesting. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Aww, he remembers. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates oh, of he's hell happy. He's that so thou happy. might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. Oh, I love the Uncle. Oh, you always were fond of that scene from The Saint in the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. Okay, now I'm afraid that the uncle, I don't want the uncle to die now. You better not. I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But uncle. You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. <laughs> so you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but... The woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, 
and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. <laughs> Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. Aren't you? I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past.
And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Yeah, this game has a lot of subtle references, like when she talked about Puppet, that sounded like from 6 and 7, Terra and Cloud. And don't get me wrong, I don't like the mom. The mom needs to go, Clive's mom, um, especially for what, she did, what she's done. But when she talks about, mo when they were talking about the scene about the monsters, it made me think of Final Fantasy, uh, which one is it, 4? I believe it's just only 4. And Final Fantasy 2, maybe 3, where um, one of the the NPCs that were, you know, quote unquote, helping, we ended up finding that he, they were actually a monster, like behind all that. And then we had to, like, take him down. And the true person was either trapped in a dungeon or, like, you know, gone. So there's that whole, because it was, like, quote unquote, plot twist kind of thing. So, yeah. So I'm wondering if the mom became a monster that way, like, she's being controlled. I would hope not. It'd be a twist. Um, but I, I'd still be upset about everything she's done, especially like in the prologue. So let us get back to the hideaway. And then we'll talk to the old man and upgrade our lore and see where it goes from there. Let me do a quick save. Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Okay. Save. The ability wise, I don't think I could get anything 620. Oh, I, I kind of can. I can probably get like two. Let's see, 525. 20. 5, 5, 520. Okay, so we'll grab ignition. Grab. Look at a wheel. Here that's it. Yeah, because the next one will be lightning rod. Okay, let's see. So we know Vivian's over there, but let's do this side quest stuff. Okay, so we'll go up here first. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? It's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul, it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sternest stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine. I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chancer's Stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but 
Unwanted violets. I've no idea what they Unwanted might Unwanted violets. Does the book say anything it else? Sounds like flowers. Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. I feel like we can probably do that like right now. We've given a chance, let's see. So is we got a new one from reading table. I think a thousand times. Okay, he's right there. So let's go there for Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. Level four? Ah, uh, not close. What subject shall we consider today? Did you learn everything you needed? Oh, that's about the middle. Okay, let's go in our room, and I think we can... I have some stuff now so we can decorate. Oh, I can check that out really quick. Monsters take while like Deadlands wouldn't be half as bad as the whole so, dust. Grabbed a few things, so wall of memory. Oh, they're already on here. They're already on display. So the oath. The apples. And the rose attack. Okay, so then we have let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 19 things to go. Reading table. We got a few new ones. Okay, an apple a day. That's from Otto. So, lad from the yard ran up a basket of martellas just this morning. Sweet as honey and crisp as the morning breeze they were. I told myself I was only going to have one, but I reckon if no one else listens to old Otto, I don't have to either. You let Nigel and his lot know they've done a fine job. Was a time you'd catch none but Sid supping on these, but for their foul bite. But for him, it were it never. Wait, oops. It never were about the flavor, but about what they represented, our ability to make it our own. And look at us now. Sid would be proud. Yeah, he would be proud. Let's see from Wade, my Lord Marquess. I ask once again for you to forgive my men for your welcome back at the Lazarus. But certainly you can understand that you were the last person any of us were expecting to see at our gates. In the short time since our reunion, you have shown yourself to be the self-same man I followed into Stillwind those many years ago, a true bearer of your father's legacy. If only Sir Tyler, the Lord Commander, and all the others who were lost that night were still with us to see how bright your flames now burns. To you and your cause, I hereby pledge the swords of the Guardians, and I'm proud to stand alongside you once more. Once again. What's strange is, is that we saw the Lord Commander go. Um, the moment with, again, spoilers of anyone who's in. When the Phoenix awakened, that flash of light, that fl fire would have taken out Wade and Tyler. But what's strange is that how did Wade survive, but not Tyler? That's what I'm wondering about. So they should have been both gone or because of Tyler's wounds, like that's why he went. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, from Gav. Uh, the Dalmex and the Imperial Imperials are at a standoff. They snarl at each other, fangs bared like slum curs, but neither wants to make the first move. It's almost as if they both realize what, what a stinking pile of chocobo shit they've stepped in. If I were a man to lay wager, I'd put my copper on this conflict not playing out anytime soon. It should keep you apprised. Okay. And let's check out... This? Wait, what's this one? Oh, the patron's whisper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out... Let's go this way. Yeah, because there hasn't been any uh, weapons or items available. Good there. We probably got more... Halls of Virtues, like boss battles commence training. Oh, no. Wait. Arcade mode. So we have... Ones we can do. Stage replay. Rig's head. So we have a few new ones. 
see it's this way. Down these steps. Oh yeah, okay. This way. Cause it is on the right. Typical nobles. How did we never hear about these guardians of the flame? Same way. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Come to claim your just okay, so desserts. Let's this one now. Pillow talk. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. And it's this person. There are new billets being put. Clive! Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackford. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he hey, ain't Camilla, been for a while. Hey, Camilla, how you doing? I'm doing good. Normally, it only takes uh, a couple just of bring, drinks to you, perk him back up, but You just uh, not came this time. in right, right in time, the something's early time of Final Fantasy 16. And whatever it is, but, um, he ain't telling. Everything's doing good. Everything's it's like he's doing lost well. His spark, you're doing good you know? on your end as well. He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to I talk, think I remember August, we let him be. I'm not too sure. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. Okay, let me see if I can actually... Uh, what's it called? Go out... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I leave? Oh, I can't. Okay. So the only place I have to go is here. Martha's Rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's talk to the blacksmith first, and then go to Martha's Rest, and then come back to Vivian. Just to kind of get the side quest stuff done really quick. It don't take too long, which is pretty good. Oh, crap. Wait, did I get lost? I could have sworn we had a few. First August, and now you. What do you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so Why bad about, about that? Supplies or something? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Phil shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right. We're going. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work. Which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. 
Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Yeah, we can do it. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Okay, then Karen was... Let me see. Right here. Little lady. Our monster's taken quite a liking to... Karen. Do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summit. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He doesn't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working their hides. I see. He did tell me summit though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe? Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. Damn, yep, that's her, all right. So, feisty as ever. It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. Oh, the griffin? Okay, let's see. Yeah, because I forgot I haven't done the hunts yet other than the Arngman that we stumbled by accident. I can probably do those two quickly. Typical nobles. Two. Angel of Death, Belfragor, and the Dawsmare. Did I hear you say you were hunt hoping to hunt down a griffin, Kupo? And I do have a billet for you, Kupo, an especially horrible one the locals call Dawsmare. That's this guy. While passing along the trail from Lost Swing to Care Norvet, one of our order our order was met with a sudden blast of wind so strong it had bent the bank the trunks of old oaks heard a cry so terrible that he ran for his life questioning the locals revealed that this area was nesting a place of the elder griffin known as the dawsmare a beast much hated for its appetite both for chocobos and for children okay so that's it there uh, hunt the okay hunt Locate the group. So you are. Wait. I'm trying to remember just where everybody's at. I'll write this down. So you. Okay, so you. Okay, oh, right there. So you're Clairview Sambrek. Broken Hilt Rosaria. And you're in the Kersorit Sunbreak. Okay. We can get two right there. Okay, so let's do a quick save. Then not. Okay. Map. Okay, so Martha's rest is here. Let's pull them. Okay, 
Okay, these are all sand brick. We'll just go to Martha's Rest really quick first. Just speak to the butcher and then I'm just have to remember exactly how what place had what. Okay, here. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? So, welcome. Ah, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. And there was a war on that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet, if memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Three reeds is over here. Okay. On the corner where the little house is at. Okay. And... Yeah, East Pool was the place that got hurt. Just looking around really quick. Trying to figure out like names and such. So. And then we'll use our chocobo just to speed through there. Stay sharp. After what the Empire did to me. Don't you go causing any trouble now. Here we go. Scorpions. At least I know what I'm up against. I just realized I need two high potions, but we should be fine. I better get this back to Yvonne before it goes bad. Or any worse, at least. So, let's go back to the hideaway. Quick. I usually wait until like I do all the side quests and then come back all together, but... In this case, since I realized I don't have high potions, let's just do that.
Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvellous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely? You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. Uh, into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. There it is, yeah, it's a purple. I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm, uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. Salt on the senses, it's like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency there rise complex, meaty notes. It it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chance's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. Okay, let's see. Let's talk to Karen. Karen. He has the potions. That monster's taking quite. Is it business or pleasure? Yeah, because I'm still pretty much really strong on weapon stuff. There it is. It'd better all be here. Yeah. Is that all? Okay. I'm gonna check the hump board again because I do not remember uh, where they're at. Like, I just know it's both. Two of them are in Samprick. I just can't remember exactly where, though. Typical nobles. Okay, so. You are in Clearview, Samprick. You're in Broken Hilt, Rosaria. And your Care Norvent Westgate Sandbrick. Okay. So we'll go Rosario first and then we'll just have to go through all the Sandbricks. Rosario. Can help. Southern Rosaria, Central Rosaria. Okay, so your first. Broken Hill. Okay, Broken Hill, Broken Hill, Let's see. Okay, Broken Hill. So I'm guessing you're going to be here. Having such a tr left. Oh god, now my I'm going left is bad. Okay, so we'll go east pool and then go down. You're probably like in that little corner-ish. Hey Aline, how you doing? I'm doing good on my end. We're playing some Final Fantasy 16. Uh, feel free to just enjoy. It's just a chill stream today, but hopefully everything's doing good on your end. 
But for today, other than it being hot, it's 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 a chill day. Just doing a quick uh, two side quests of um, what's it called? Uh, oh wow, notorious monsters. And then we're gonna continue on this story. I'm just looking for the monsters right like right now. Okay, cool. My chocobo. Of course. Yeah, I'm glad. You, hope you're doing good. Let's go. I'm glad you're doing good. Sorry. Chocobo, what are you doing? There Faster. We go. And then I've been having a little bit uh, tricky moments with my controller. It's just been like drifting pretty badly. By the way, did you try all the FF games? Yes, yes, I have. Um, I have played all 1 through 16. Uh, wait, which way am I going? I played through all 1 through 16, including uh, remakes and remasters, like when they were re released like on older uh, different consoles. Like, I played all, the, all of those that way too. So let's just dismount and get the monsters. Yeah, the one that I thought I was never going to try was uh, 14, was because I played 11, I loved 11, and um, what's it called, since it's a nice description, I was like, I can't play for 12 months, so I played 11, because there was no time to play it, and then when 14 released, it's like, you know, one month free trial, and then like, you know, you it didn't even be up until like level 60, 70 on all jobs and stuff. And then I started playing it again. Then I finally played it, loved it, enjoyed the time I had on it. Um, but I haven't gone back to it because I think mine was a mix up of a free trial. It was not, it was only a 30, 30 day free trial, not the free trial that everyone else got kind of thing. Oh, the game is so loud, you can't hear me? Okay, hold on one sec. Let's see, let's see. Okay, my bad. I'm so sorry. I hope you, you can hear me now. Let me adjust this really quick. Okay, can you hear me better? Like, cause I, on my mic, it's at max volume, um, but I am very soft-spoken, so I do apologize for that. But uh, I lowered the music. I can lower it just a smidge more. Maybe you guys can hear the audio. Is that better? Okay, just wanted to be sure. Um, yeah, because like, I don't have a camera, but I'm really just right in front of the mic. Um, but yeah. So I do apologize, but um, for your answer, I played all uh, Final Fantasy games. 1 through 16, all of them. Or I'm playing 16 right now. I've played also like when they were re-released on, you know, uh, different consoles. And then um, 14 was the one I didn't play because I played 11. Stopped playing 11, played a little bit of 14, and now I stopped playing both 11 and 14. They're the ones that I can't finish because it's like subscription based. So that's like the only thing. But I loved all the other fun. I mean, I love all the Final Fantasies in general. Yeah, there's the Notorious Monster. Okay. I figured it was going to be right here. The Belphegor, okay. Oh, you're level 30. Okay. Oh, I am not used to this. Okay, hold on. Yeah. 
Oh, you're almost dead, come on. Oh, that was a dirty hit, come on now. Oh, no way. I was right there. I called bull. Okay. I got too cocky at the end, but I thought I had it. Like, he was right there. Um, let me see. Oh, nice. I'm sure you're loving this one. Yeah, I am. I'm really loving 16. It It's giving story the way I wanted story to be. Even though it's very cookie cutter, like, go to place, cutscene, uh, place again, cutscene, and then uh, fight cutscene cutscene kind of thing but the story is there it's like in your face but in a good way so it's it's paced really well um i really love the story and the combat system of this yeah it's it's really good i love it and you know i know i'm like slowly but surely oh i'm drifting again um slowly but surely i am you know unlocking the stuff as i go and then just kind of grinding but i love the combat good it God. does remind me a lot of devil may cry and i just i just love it Okay, let's try again. I had it. I, I guess I, I just got too impatient at the end of that. Uh, it's this way? Yeah, it's this way. Okay, let's see. Let me see. I feel like I'm drifting again. Okay. Nice try. Thanks. Yeah, I, I tried my best. It was my first Notorious Monster thinking that I, I had that one, but I didn't. Uh, what other game, fave games your favorite games to play i play a lot of stuff um so i do play a lot of the other rpgs so like tales i play um star ocean dragon quest um dot hack i'm trying to think of them all tail uh trails trails of cold steel or like that series tales and then i think that's it on rpgs off the top of my head that i know of and then action games so like god of war assassin's creed um uh, what else? What else? Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, Animusha. Um, what else? What else? And then a lot of other just random like action games. There's a lot of indies. Uh, I don't even want to touch that, but I do love the indies. Like they have a little soft spot in my heart. Like Ori in the Blind Forest. Like I just love games like that. And then a lot of Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, and things like that. Stream wise, I, you know, I've been just only doing RPGs right now. Oh, Persona series. I knew I forgot one. I've been just streaming what I can right now, but offline I'll play with friends like Overwatch, Fortnite, um, Apex, and we're playing a little bit of Borderlands now. Um, but yeah, just playing those kind of games, and um, yeah, I just play a little bit in everything. It's, it sucks because it's like, oh, I would love to be a full-time streamer playing like 12 hours a day every day, um, but of course I can't, so I have to like make money, so otherwise like, I'd be trying to play everything if I could. But yeah, um, specifically, Babe Games, oh, and Kingdom Hearts series, I'm like, I know I was forgetting another series for RPG. Um, favorite game, I would be probably the Final Fantasies, but I, I dabble with a little bit of everything. This one. Get him. Over here. Let's try. Oh, 
Oh my god, I am like dodging. There we go. Oh, come on. See, come on, camera. There we go, next. Oh, come on, I hit that. Nice, there we go. Oh nice, you have a very good taste in games. Thanks! I try my best, it's just usually, um, a lot of the games I guess fell in love with had just really good stories, you know? And then gameplay and characters and music and just everything. Okay, so we got one down. Oh, there aren't any more of them. Okay, and then I think I'm drifting again a little bit. Let's see, left is fine. My right's fine, okay. No, yeah, I feel like I'm... Going too much to the left. Yeah, I'm, le I'm going left again. Okay, I'm gonna go to the hideaway really quick again, and I'll go to uh, get some restore some items and save. By the way, what makes you what makes you to start streaming? What made me start streaming? Um, let me actually you know. What, let me lower this down a little bit more. As long as you guys can hear me and still hear the game, it's like the as long as the audio ain't too loud, because I think system wise. Everything like master volumes at its max. Um, let me see. Oops, wait. Oh, music volume I put down. Okay. Um, what made me uh, start streaming? I guess it was just seeing everybody else stream. The thing was was that um, oh, I'm going hard left. What it was was that I saw a lot of people play the more um what's it called 
the more really action based stuff so like a lot of people were playing fortnite overwatch league of legends like the ones that are just really like you're watching everything's fast everything is like crazy which is a lot of fun um but i noticed that to be able to kind of like i want to talk with the the, the audience kind of more and so with rpgs it was kind of like you know you're having this chill it's chill you're playing the game it's relaxing but you're also being at least able to conversate more with the, with the audience i think the viewers i think that's kind of what um i wanted and so just to be a little bit more interactive with viewers and um, i liked that more don't get me wrong like would i love to stream fortnite and overwatch and just like kick ass yeah but i feel like i'd be focusing so much there and hardly the chance with like viewers other than like you know ggs guys or you know we banter here and there or just say thanks for the follow kind of thing i don't know i i feel like that's that's one way of streaming and it's like um i feel like i'm just not uh interactive as much as i, I would if i did it that way if that makes sense blind, you know. i don't know it feels weird because probably like five minutes later i'll like play fortnite and be like yeah you know that whole thing Yeah, in between fights, it's hard. Other than that, it's good. Okay, so I think I guess I should just change the volume on when it comes to battling. Um, but yeah, okay. Just want to be sure. But yeah, sorry for the long-winded answer. I feel like I gave it correctly why the streaming. Because I did want to have fun with it. Um, but I know, like, my viewpoint kind of, like, has changed before. Like, on streaming, like, years ago. Because I started back in 2018? on youtube um but i was inconsistent on like keeping the schedule and everything so i was on and off on youtube then i went to twitch because it, a lot of more people were there and so i'm kind of like okay I'll, I'll be here but then it's even much more um explosive with everyone kind of like on fortnite overwatch apex league like the more like or just chatting which is again fine too um but I was kind of just like, I'm trying to find like that little niche of just like where to be with and just kind of chill and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so Sambrek for these. Oh yeah, oh and I streamed Pokemon before too. That was the other one. I streamed Pokemon, I need to go back to streaming and finishing Pokemon uh, Sword Shield with the Crown Tundra DLC. And then I need to finish Scarlet Violet scarlet and violet before the dlc comes out because i haven't finished that one either so yeah it's it's a lot i've been really really behind on let's see um so i think one of them is here because they said it was by the gate i'm trying to see where the other one was um crap now i feel bad hold up let me go back to the hideaway because i cannot remember for the life of me <gasps> Yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's a it's a lot. But otherwise, like, I, yeah, like when I played Pokemon Sword to Shield, it was it was a lot of fun because I was able to like conversate with everyone as I was just like you know I can just unconsciously you know make the Pokemon tackle or do abilities while being able to talk with everybody. So that the Pokemon made it a lot of fun and easier because it was just easily kind of just like take turn uh, as I'm attacking, taking turns and grinding and whatnot. It was just a lot more it was a lot more easier to be interactive i hope whatever goal you in is in streaming you will achieve it very soon no thank you i would hope so thank you for that yeah like i i would love to if i can be kind of like those content creators like who have like thousands thousands of viewers and making bank like if i could do it like that like um what's his name ninja ninja how he did it with fortnite if i could be kind of that level of you know making money that way yeah i would quit my full-time job and just stream and have fun playing video games and just interacting with people as much as i can that way um that would probably be my end goal i don't know if i'll ever get there because i have a full-time job now probably gonna get another a part-time job soon just to you know because how the world is kind of is right now with with uh, inflation um but yeah like i would hope to off the side just if I stream as possible, if I can't, 
the most I'll do is at least record the videos, comment, and then just upload them on YouTube because that's kind of like what I've been doing. Northwest Gate and Clearview, okay. But thank you, but yeah, Blake, I hope whatever goals you have to on your end, like you're able to uh, achieve them as well. Clearview, Clearview, where's Clearview at? Okay, you're there. Okay, so you're somewhere here and here. So my guess, one of the monsters is probably gonna be here. So let us go here really quick and save. You're welcome. And if I had my camera on, I'd give you like uh, the, the little, with the hand gesture, little heart. Okay, let me save. Oh wait, I can do it this way, hold up. There you go. Look at this place. Oh god, this drift, I swear. It's gonna be the enemy. I'm just waiting until next week when I get paid, and then I'm probably going to get another controller. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go, yeah, this way. You're welcome. No, yeah, I'm always the, the chill sweet guy over here. And I also enjoy sweet, so I always... <laughs> I have a sweet tooth. But yeah, always here in my stream, it'll always be as super chill as possible. Is that an item? There we go. Okay, I feel like it's... Oh, oops, went wrong way. Like I know it's somewhere here. I feel the bosses. Oh wait. Oh, I can't change my sh uh my shift right now. Okay. This way? Yeah. Okay. I feel it'll be here. There's a raptor. 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 So it's not here. Oh, interesting. Where the hell is it then? Yeah, there's just nothing but raptors. Huh. Wonder if it's down here in this corner then. Well, let me get out of this place really quick and find it. Because now I feel stumped because I can't find it. Unless it's this big guy. Oh, is it you? Are you the notorious monster? Oh, it is you. Okay. This is the one we're probably looking for. Okay, let me pause really quick. Let's see, by the way, you have so much games left to finish and you start fit 16 and it's a very long game. Yeah, I know. Like, I wanted to play this like day one, take a week off of work and just stream like 12 hours straight every day but i wasn't able to and yeah like i heard the story is at least 30 hours and i could go that way first and then do the side quest stuff off to the end but then um some people who have come in previous streams that said like no do side quests as you go which uh, that was my intention anyway and i remember yoshi p said that the game would take then about a total up to 70 hours so i'm like damn so with that being said it's like it's a lot to, to do especially like if i'm only doing two hours a day so that's why i'm kind of like trying to get the consistency of like play four hours a day if i can like four hours every day um every day as much as i can that way i can uh complete it as best i can yeah because the next one would be final fantasy 9 and i know that's short because i played it several times over and so I, I don't mind replaying it and just powering through if not that one Pokemon Tundra and Pokemon Sword Shield and Scarlet Violet. I know I could kick those pretty quickly since they're at least about 20 30 hours as well. So, um, but yeah, like I I wish I could uh, uh grind uh, I wish I could play this a lot longer than I can than I would be right now. 
This isn't gonna be easy. Get him! Oh crap, I didn't see that. Oh, now you're doing it. Now the drift is happening in the battle. Crap. Oh, you played it seven hours a day until you beat it? Yeah, see, if I had seven hours a day to a chance, then yeah, I would have done the same. Nice. Okay, we got that one down. Yeah, seven hours a day if I could, because I almost did that with um, Persona 5. I was playing two to four hours a day just to finish it, and I think it took me almost like two months because I thought it was going to um, take me a shorter amount of time than that. And the way I was grinding, the way that the game was going, because everyone was saying like on average people were finishing at like the 80 hour mark. No, like it took me, and this is without Royal, it took me on normal uh, going through, I think I hit over a hundred hours until I got to the end. And I was like, oh, holy hell. Okay, now let's go get the last guy. And then we'll continue on with the story. Wait, where's Ambrosia? Oh, there you are. Okay. So let's see down this way. Fly, Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Never mind. I always kept saying Ambrosia. Okay, past the gate. It's gonna be here somewhere. You have three icons right now, right? Yeah, I have three. Like. Two streams ago, I recently got uh, Ram, Ramu. Yeah, so it was kind of sad how I got Ramu. I really thought it was just gonna just be passed down to me, kind of like how I got Garuda, but no. Let's see. Oh, I hate. I swear this drift is gonna be the end of me. Let's grab this item. Okay, you're gonna be here somewhere. I just don't know where. Where is that Griffith at?
Huh, that's weird. Where would it be at then? I don't think it'd be here, would it? Oh my god, the drift. Hold up. I've, would it be down there? Because then I had to go all the way around if I had to. Hold on one sec, guys. Hold on. I'm going to mute the mic really quick because I'm going to blow on the, on the controller. Okay, I think we're good again. Okay, so I think I have to actually go this way down. I feel like maybe the Griffith is down in this area then. Because I already explored here and not found it. So it has to be underneath then. Okay, let's just try it that way then. It means all the good stuff left, left you'll love it. Yeah, I can't wait to see like what the other abilities, uh, how they, how they are. Um, what's it called? I know that, uh, let me see. Can I go down this way? Wait, wait, wait. This way then? Okay, now I don't know where this Griffith is at then. Oh, so I was saying, I know that, um... Titan is one of them because we've seen it a lot in the trailers. So like the way his attacks are. And um, I really thought we were going to get Titan's uh, abilities sooner. And I was surprised that it was Ram Ramu first and then, and then you know, whoever's next. Okay, where is this damn Griffith at? Raptor, Raptor. Dragon, nope. Oh, oops, wait. Okay. Oh, this is new. The Creek, Heaven Hill. It's probably not going to be in here. I don't think so. I'm just asking because I don't want to spoil anything for you, so I'll be careful. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Thank you. Yeah, like, um, I think I know which... Uh, character. I mean, I know. I think I know which icons are. I'm going to obtain. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, I kind of know them since we kind of been seeing them through the stories. Uh, but yeah, no, it's okay. Like, don't worry about uh, still telling me. I think I got who, who the the rest are. But I can't. I haven't. But I have not seen how they um, how they attack, how the icon abilities are. So I can't wait to see that. I'm kind of like excited. Because they probably will be like a lot of fun. Okay, so I feel lost because I thought I knew the way to get Griffin and I cannot get him. Because I talked to the Chocobo, I looked up on the board, it said it's supposed to be the North Gate, which I was at. He's not there. Is he in here? to the stables go no he's not here either i honestly feel lost it said oh wait is he past the gate then wait 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 wait. because it said in oh crap what was this place at is he in the castle
Oh wait, okay, guess not. Okay, so now, yeah, I'm lost. Let me go back to the hideaway really quick. Yeah, because I talked to you already. And I asked about the Griffith sightings. I clicked on it already. Yeah, Cairn, Cairn Norvent, Westgate, Sambrick. I was at the Westgate. While passing along the trail from Lost Wing to Cairn Norvent. Did I not do that? Hold up. Because it's like... I'm taking like way too long on this on this notorious monster unless I can't get him yet. Cause then Oh wait. Yeah, from Kernorve. Wait, that's not the West Gate. West Watch, Opine, East Watch. Okay, Eileen, um, I guess you can, uh, I probably need just a little bit of help. Where is the Griffin? Because I thought I knew where it's at, and I'm not so sure now. Because wait, here's Lost Wing. Up the trail, Lost Wing. So are you here? Wait, I'm trying to figure out... Let's see. I wonder if you're here. Run the Lambert's Pass. Yeah, if you know where the Griffith's at, um, feel free to let me know. Uh, otherwise, I could probably just skip it and continue on to the story and talk with Vivian. I just I thought I'd find it easier than I would expect and I just haven't. Cause I'm like up the trail, Lost Wing goes just here. Cutter's Gate, Lambert's Pass, but I don't see no West Gate, that's a thing. Corbella Downs. Um hmm. <laughs> Let me just do a quick save. Let's see. Renovate in the West Gate. Oh, it's okay. We can just go back to the highway then. I'll do this quest later. Okay, let's just talk with Vivian. It's okay. I could probably, uh, I'll look it up. Mm, she is, oh, this way. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> It is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Iron Blood made their move. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. 
But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred. And they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores Oh, so a lot has happened then. Holy crap. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. It's one of your favorite parts? Oh my god, I'm excited. I can't wait to see. Both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against... Which is true, yeah. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital. Killed the men. And captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. But... Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. Alrighty, let's see. Where's Jill at? Typical nobles. It will be over soon. Are you ready? I think so. Jill, when you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drek's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the Crystalline Orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to- Oh, as she shall, you go, Queen. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there... Oh, I love these two so much. Oh my god. And I'll be beside you too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Okay, quick save and wait. All right, let's continue on. Let's see the map. Drake's breath.
the boiling sea okay oh yeah we have the ship now the one thing though i do kind of miss when it comes to with 16 just a little bit is um like kind of like the older games like riding the the ship or uh sailing on uh, sailing on the ship or riding the the airship like that's kind of like what i've been missing so far a trick. from the Easy older games throwing the spray to make mist how did you learn to use your powers like this the masters made me do it when the crusaders took to the seas to keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes <laughs> I'm fine. No, you're not. Oh my god, is she starting to turn? This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. She is the Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. Holy hell, that thing is huge. Oh, where I'm from? I'm from Cali, California. Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. Let's see, do we have a map or no? Fire and ice? Oh, I love that. Okay, we have no map. Okay. I always imagined when I came here, it would be to reclaim Oh, you just moved out from the, from here? Yeah, area, like, I don't know if I'd ever, like, I love Cali, even though how crazy expensive it's getting. I don't know if I could ever move out because, like, family's all here for me. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. Let's see any treasure, anything? No. Oh, that's a lot of aether coming from the gate. Oh, we got monsters. All right. See any treasure hiding around? Nope. Okay. Was that an earthquake? They happen all the time. That wasn't even a bad one. It's nothing to worry mm, about. I feel like this time around it, it would probably have something to worry about. 
Is that a golem? Oh, we got a minotaur. Okay, I can handle you. It's been a minute. Nice try. Oh, come on! I I evaded that. Oh, that one I didn't, but... Arrow recovery... Okay, nothing's around here. Nope. No treasure chest. Okay, we think we're good. Ah, here we go. Here's one. Oh no, this looks like it's going to be another Marlboro. Who is my favorite streamer to watch? Um, I have a few friends who I enjoy watching their streams. Um, the one I haven't lately watched that was one of my faves is um, Super Butterbuns. Love her when she streams. It's always chaotic and fun. Um, but I do have others. I'm like two want to go. I've been watching them as well. A few of my friends like Sokosian, um, she, IXO Bandit, uh, my partner, like he streams also. And there we go, there's the Marlboro. And um, a few others, I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. It sucks because I haven't been able to watch their streams so often as I would want to because uh, when I work from, when I'm at work, they kind of. Oh, sorry, hold on, let me pause this really quick. So when I'm at work, um, service is really bad. And so if, if a favorite stream of mine is, is on and they and I can't watch it at 144p, like change the, the quality to 140p and I'll just listen in. If I can't do that, then it's just constantly like always trying to buffer. So then I'm kind of like, okay, I'll just try to watch the VOD um, at home. But when I get home, I'm doing other stuff. So then I end up not watching it. So I try to watch it when I can. And then now at work, we're not allowed to have phones in uh, for just policy reasons for all coworkers. So then I can't even try to see if I could um, watch their streams. So it's a little even harder. Um, 
but yeah but if i had my phone or if i had availability to like watch them during the days that they're streaming which is most of the time um midday afternoon kind of around that time then yeah i'd, I'd watch them But yeah, right now, I think Butterbuns was always, always enjoyable to watch. Go down, Marlboro. Nice. Okay, we got the interactive stuff happening now, I believe. Let's see, is he gonna try to suck me in? Oh, acid rain. Hold up. Nice. That's bad. Phones aren't allowed. Yeah, it it sucks because it it frustrates a lot of our coworkers because um to be able to communicate because our work is just like really really quickly. I mean uh really um oh, what's the word? It's very front line kind of work for a lot of my coworkers. And then for me, since I'm an admin, it's not too bad not having your phone. You just you can listen to music at least. Um. So it's not too bad, but to just kind of take everything away, especially with like um, where I work at, it can get very, I guess, dangerous slash lockdowns. 
and so not being able to communicate what's going on like the bare mi mi essential for that phone it, that's what's where it sucks yeah by the way why didn't you link your social media handles in your bar i thought i had and i haven't so i will do that after today's stream um i because i would i have i think i was gonna just do twitter and i think i was just gonna just do twitter because my instagram is very personal like just personally used so i was gonna create a new twitter i mean a new instagram for gaming and just upload clips that way so i was gonna do that and i have tiktok so i was gonna link just twitter and tiktok there and like i said i since i've been in and out of streaming for years and i was actually gonna stop doing it i think that's why i wasn't able to put my um my my uh, my social media accounts linked to it from my twitch i think that's pretty much what happened because i was just so inconsistent it really helps you to grow other for your other handles too i know like that's the one thing i've been just trying to get back to is just i, I guess i wanted to before i was going to do all that i wanted to keep a consistent schedule first i think once i got this schedule going i think that's when i was going to add in my handles yes because i think um i think on my youtube my handles are all there i have to double check but i could be wrong you don't have discord i do have discord i again i haven't been really using it because again it's like since i'm always working that's the other thing why uh when it came to streaming why it was kind of a little bit of a struggle is that um i'm always so busy with my full-time job working that i can't keep up with um being able to kind of keep the consistency growing i think for my streaming i think that's pretty much what was it's happening like a the volcano. You get used to the heat. Though I don't remember it being quite this. Was that one cause for concern? It was. And they're getting bigger. Something's wrong. <laughs> You have Discord, so I just you to manage some time and make a server on Discord. No, I will. That's what I have to just do. Kind of like um, I'm on one of the Twitch streamers is uh, Discord to want to go. Like I started watching them during COVID, and then I kind of saw like how he and the Nian Cave from YouTube. Like I love the, the watching them too. How they kind of have the Discord and how they have certain like chats and stuff. So I know I gotta make the time to kind of do something like that too as well. Uh, and have it just ready so when everyone wants to use it but it's just me my only worry and fear is just like um not being able to kind of talk with the community that i'm trying to build and create i think that's just my worry that it, it is just because of just how busy i get but um i'm gonna just try my best and just try to um be more uh, active in them like once i start creating it but yeah but no, I do agree with what you're saying, like, to uh, creating everything on Discord. I just, I gotta make time and try.
good person so i'm sure your community will understand nice people nice community oh thank you yeah that's what i would cross my fingers on is just like well i guess once i create that community um to just spend time with them a lot more and i just remembered another person who is also a very good uh, streamer um would be tj learns bankai he's also like a really good uh, person uh who does a lot of like fun streams that do does pokemon and um Fuck. i think he was doing recently some mario across? kart as well I think that might be a little while back. But yeah, I would love to do like what uh, I've seen streamers do, like date nights with the community, with the viewers, um, like the subathons, like all of that. Like it just seems fun and interactive. Oh, girl boss like moments. Come on now. I love it. Jill's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, she's good. Let's not do that again. No, let's not. This is really- oh, there we go. I was like, what other monsters do we have? Okay, let's see. But in numbers like A little closer. Closer, closer. Yeah, she's absolutely a girl boss. I love her so much. Oh, which way do we go? This way? Oh, I'm not so sure. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check over here first, because this gate was open. I hate when it opens up and then it's like you can't see where you're going. Okay, so it's not this way. Let's look for another path. Nearly at the oratory. My only question is how are we gonna get out of here? Oh, it's these guys. Oh, they really brought everything back on like Final Fantasy like monsters. Oh, I'm gonna deal with you. Oh god. Really? Okay. How am I gonna Okay, that still hurts. Now see if the red moose is back, now I'm curious to see the, like what is it? The blue moose, the yellow moose, like I remember them all. Never liked them. They were always hard as hell. At times, depending on like what the situation was or what game it was. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, because it's like, I already know Red Moose would be weakness to like water and ice spells, and I'm like, that had to be just Jill, but I'm glad his abilities can at least hurt it. Okay, so we're good, we're good. I'm not missing anything. Okay, this way. Who do we have? One of the demons. But they never leave the lava. If I didn't know better, I think this volcano was about to erupt. Who are you supposed to be? Oh, just a regular flame lizard, got it. Okay. Then this one must be the exception. Oh, that, that hit really hard. Fire water. Oh no, okay, so it just means lava. Hit. Okay, that was a lot. Oh, come on, I missed that. I dodged that. Oh, I was up in the air, I couldn't do it. Nice. 
Nice, there we go. Can I add you on Discord so whenever you do stream, I could... Yeah, of course. I will send it to you after the stream. I, once I guess we get to a good spot to save, then I'll, I'll, I'll add it in. It must be sweating. It's like must be hot in there. It's just hot. Thank you. Quite a commotion our friend made. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Okay, I feel like there's gonna be just then another big boss. I need to finish this before the heat finishes me. Here, here. Okay, I know this would be a good spot to save, but I kind of want to finish this whole area first, though. Handmaidens' living quarters. It was always a hive of activity. Sounds like we'll have a hard time staying out of sight. We won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to see. Okay, as long as there's no treasure I missed out there, I just went straight for the door. Oh, I should save. I did not save. Okay, cutscenes. It's me, Python and Bertha. Jill, it can't be. It is, my lady. We cannot talk here. Come with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. So I feel like someone's going to tell on them. You're safe. And I, you. Why ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me. Where is the Patriarch? At this hour, he'll be in the Comrick, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Did I... No, not yet. Now. Um, Probably when the cutscene's done, I'll go and I'll grab it really quick. Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. Now listen here, Jill. In Alak, we have company. <gasps> this way. Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. 
Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. Oh, I hope she lives too. Oh my god. There's just so many characters where they're just like... I think they're safe and then there's not. Do the same. Oh, the music changed a lot. Holy hell. The oratory. On, the okay, let me check Discord really quick. Right. Uh, let me see. Do, do, do. Oh, it's with two L's. Okay, hold up. Okay, I sent a friend request. Okay, so let us... Yeah, I, I know I'm over time on the two hour mark that I was going to, but uh, I do want to finish this area, so... Let me see, let me see... All right, let me, since it's been a while, let me do a quick save. Okay. That's a monster, okay. There's a lot of enemies. I was wondering if we were supposed to just kind of lurk our way through, but maybe not. You got it? Okay, nice. Oh, you have to go? Yeah, of course. Thank you for, for coming. I will be on stream. I should be able to... Next stream will be on Friday. But yeah, you have a good rest of your day and talk to you soon. Let's see. Now I finished this area. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I don't know if I should have to go through that door or this way first. Let's see. Oh, no, wait. Okay, so this is the door I came from. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, so that wasn't the door I came from. It was up there. So these doors don't open. What's this one? And then any treasure chests off to the side? Nope. Just the stairs. Okay. Grab that. Oh, we got it. Oh, okay. How many of them are there? Too many. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to him.
The music is giving like Final Fantasy 2 pandemonium vibes and I love it. Okay, looks like then these doors open, I don't think. No, they don't. I guess it's just this one then. Oh, okay. I guess not. Not that one. Oh, it's over here. Okay. This one. Let's get them closer. Nice. Okay, so there's that door, but let's check out here really quick first. Anything, anything? Aha! There's always a treasure if you look hard enough. Okay. Check behind. Nope. Okay. Clive, there's something I need you to know. I saw the Patriarch do things no one should have to see. And so I swore that he would die by my hand. I understand. I faced my demons, and you must face yours. Yeah, and so when they said feasting, I, I know it's probably the other quote-unquote means. The not safe for work means is probably what he's doing. Okay, so... Okay, so it's that way, I'm guessing. So let's grab this really quick. Let's grab that item. And as long- oh wait, you know what? What I have not done is my daily dose of- oh, I can't do it here! Okay. Crap. I just realized that I have not pet Torgul in today's stream. So I gotta double pet him uh, on Friday's stream. Okay. The Inner Sanctum. We're nearly there! Just one last push! I hate that the, the EXP is so low, but I get it when it comes to just like the areas and the enemies. Right, what do we got here? Mother crystal Drake's breath the fire because it feels like there's only f if I remember this the lore dump that they gave us There's four crystals maybe more I had to look at it again I'm like the first one we defeated seemed like it was a water crystal and this one's fire Okay, 
Let's see what he's doing. Okay, so it's not the NS, not safe for work kind. It is basically sacrificing things to the crystal. So that's the, the unspeakable things he's doing or torture. Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? in chains and you slit their throats Fiend. <laughs> their souls were sullied with a stain of ether i merely cleansed them of their corruption a penance paid just as the holy mother wills it repent abomination for a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster. And my soul is stained black. Though not by ether. But by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more. Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. Yes, girl boss. Kill them. Oh, we're not going to do a battle. Okay, we're just cutscene then. I'm fine with it. Hey. I hope that all, everyone escapes just fine. Is that... Is that Joshua? Oh, holy hell. Yeah, they gone. What the hell is that? Well, that's not a free. She's full on. Okay, she's on. No. Fire with fire? I don't know. Come on. Remember how it felt. Torgo buddy, just like, don't get hurt. I swear, this dog needs to s stay alive this whole time. He can't transform? Why? Why can't I do it? Please, 
just one. We got a kaiju fight. Okay, this is close enough, yeah. She won't be able to help that out back forever. Oh crap. Oh my god, Togo, you are a lifesaver when you do that. Oh, what's happening? Okay. She's probably minimizing the field even more. <gasps> We're seeing her ultimate? Oh my god. That's so pretty. Go. All right. I won't take long. He can fly now? Oh my god. Tower, holy hell. What's gonna be that? Oh, I timed that wrong. Get him. Oh. Ah. 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 Ah.
come on. Oh, yeah, it's just a little bit. Just a sliver. Nice, there we go. No level up, but hey, that's still good. I hope to see Diamond Dust again, like that, even though it's with in the scene, like I would love to see it fully. She's okay, she's okay. Oh no, she's starting to act like Sid. I'm going to finish this, Clive. She's so tired. No, let let Clive do it. We got an ice brand sword. Yeah, that mother crystal's now gone. Are you watching, Sid? We're one step closer to freedom. The crystal. What did you do to it? Oh, she's gonna stab him. We destroyed it. What? What? Monster. Monster. Do you have any idea what you're you way too close to deal? She's gonna stab you. I do. <gasps> oh crap. Billy? I have killed the monster and become an outlaw. Your own dad? May the blessing of the crystals go with you. It's over. I'll double check the lore in the with Harpocrates, but if it is, damn. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. Now time to just escape out of here, which I would not know how to do. And our puppy. Oh, here's the earthquake stuff again. Clive, look. 
Oh, a way out? It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. <gasps> yeah, it's the... The symbol. The art piece that I know we can't... Um, I don't know if I can ever go back to the area and see it for myself, but yeah. Ah, oh, Joshua. Why are you being so mysterious? Unless oh, this is a different character. Okay, everybody's escaped. Okay, so she's alive, so she's good. That I'm happy with. Yeah, it's disappearing. This kind of like cliff mountain looks like uh, Ravenous um, from Final Fantasy 15. Meanwhile, okay. Oh, wait, so Joshua was there. So who was this guy then? Who was the other guy? This way, Your Grace. I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. I remember her. She's the one from the, the camp, like we saw a stream or two ago, that was uh, selling the tonics when Jill said no. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. But why now, after five years of silence? I don't like that crystal. I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your Grace. No, do not dirty your hands. Okay, so he still has Ultima sealed, okay. And so... Uh, I'm wondering if the crystals are keeping him alive. And us killing the... killing the... destroying the crystals is destroying him as well. Because he's the phoenix, he's reborn, it takes a lot of ether, it makes sense for that? Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. Either that, or it's something to do with Ultima, and it's affecting him. It's one of the two, or both. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek in the Dominion, Your Grace? Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis. Yeah, so Dion is Bahamut, Bahamut. yeah. I met him once, when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then, and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sunbreak included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. As the Mother Crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers, and the Azure God damn it, yep. to bruise. The, the the mother crystals are connected with the phoenix god damn it blessed by the crystals and yet how spoiled like 
canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. Yeah, because it's like, will he be, will he reborn, will he be okay, or will he not? That's the question that I'm wondering about. Yeah, while being the Phoenix, while holding Ultima in his, in his body, which I still, again, don't know why, but he's trying to defy a fate. That's interesting. And then there's the other cloaked guy, whoever the hell that guy is. You just have to see. Meanwhile, okay, some more meanwhiles. I wonder if we're just going to see Titan Rondella. Because we haven't seen Titan in a good while. Ministry of Law. Army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on laying night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. We all here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There he is. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. If our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. Oh, oh, wow. Is that the Empress? We finally see her. I thought she'd be showing up later, but it is all making sense. Oh, my God. What is the meaning of this, Lord Kupka? What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. And she has a son? Like, this is just... Oh my god. Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation.
such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Oh, okay. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your imperial majesty. Yeah, she's on Bahamut's side. Did she marry uh, the king or the prince for on Dion's side? If I'm getting my names correctly, either that or she's on Odin's side. But I think it's Bahamut's. Like, yeah, imperial majesty. Yeah, it was Bahamut's then. And all for the love of a common whore. God, I hate her so much. Or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet Great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all. Yeah, she's land. doing the same thing she tried the to do with with the king, down, the previous king. And you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. Yeah, she just wants power. She's she's just evil and vindictive. Okay, so she doesn't have a quote unquote Soon. monster in her. But I did not like that. A glowing thing. Okay, this is probably the last cutscene, and then I will save the game and then end the stream for today. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Oh, here we go. Okay, so he's probably worried about Jill. After the storm? Okay. Okay, we're going to save right here, you guys. And that'll be for today's stream. I thought there'd be like one more little cutscene. Abilities, okay, we'll level up that stuff later too. Alright, yeah, that was a nice long stream. I'm actually happy that I got to hit more than two hours. Uh, we hit three hours, so that's pretty good. Um, thank you guys all for coming. Thank you guys for the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been enjoying the story and the way it's just unraveling so far and it's just been it's been crazy especially this last cutscene and stuff so i'm glad i uh defeated the the next boss that was happening in the volcano because i could have paused it before then but i'm glad i got to see everything that was happening because it wouldn't feel right pausing right there before like big scenes like that or especially like where i was at i was just like no let me finish this area and it was just all good but yeah so um Friday we will continue on Final Fantasy 16. I'm gonna try to see if Saturday and Sunday in the morning I could pull it also. If not, it'll be next Tuesday. But yeah, thank you guys all for coming. I hope you guys have a very good one. Um, I'm going to also upload this for on YouTube, so it'll be there in case you guys missed it. But again, you guys have a good rest of your Wednesday and talk to y'all later.